Hey, what's going on people? Bear Fox here and welcome back to another brand new video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can optimize your CSGO for low-end PCs for better performance and FPS. Make sure to watch this video till the end. Also, don't forget to leave your specs down in the comments below. I'll reply to each one of you individually. And with all that said, let's get started. Alright, step number one is the essential window settings and as for every video, open up your settings and then follow the same steps. Go into game mode and make sure the turn on game mode is enabled. This will optimize your PC to turn off things running in the background, allowing your PC to get much better performance while you play the games. Then go into the graphic settings down beneath and then click on the change default graphic settings. Make sure that both of these options are enabled. Go back to graphic and now you will see a list of all the games installed on your computer. In case this list does not pop up, you can simply click on browse. Go to the download location of CSGO. For me, I might have already added CSGO somewhere in here. There is CSGO.exe. I've already added it over here. Simply add it, go to options and then click on high performance. This will utilize your GPU over your CPU whenever you play the game. Step number two is also very simple. You have to simply go for updates and go to Windows updates. Once you are here, you have to make sure that it says Windows is up to date. If not, you can always download and install all of the available Windows updates because that will help you stabilize your Windows. Also, simply go under the advanced options, go to delivery optimization and make sure that allow downloads from other PC is turned off. This will be very beneficial with your bandwidth. Step number three is system configuration and this will optimize your boot. Simply search for system configuration on your PC. Then go to the boot section, go advanced option, click on number of processors and select the maximum number of processors available for your PC. For me it's 24, it can be different for you so simply choose that, click on ok, click on apply and then close system configuration. Step number 4 is de-animate your windows. If you are running a super low end PC and you are getting FPS issues, this simple step will change your PC's performance drastically. Simply search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows, click on just for best performance and then click on apply this will basically remove all of the unnecessary animations on your windows and you will see drastic performance changes just by that in case you are not happy with the fonts or your windows looks you can simply click on smooth edges of screen fonts as well as show thumbnails instead of icons and it will feel just the same way but it will still work fine right over here in the advanced section you have to click on processor scheduling set to programs by default, it can be set to background services, so choose programs because that will help your running programs to use the processors primarily than the background services running. Simply click on apply and click on OK. Now if you're suffering from network issues and if you want to lower your ping as well as packet loss, I highly recommend you guys to use Exit Lag. It is a free to use application for 3 days, you can download it from the link in the description below. Once you download and open this up, the application should look like this. Now over here you have to make sure that Exit Lag is enabled and it is working and down beneath you will find a list where you can pick from any game over 250 games to choose from. Simply search for CSGO over here, as I've already added it, you can select CSGO, select the nearest region to you, for me it is IN. Mumbai 01. Simply click on user routes within my country first and as you can see it is showing the estimated ping that you're going to get. Simply click on apply routes and this will help you guys to reduce your network issues, stabilize your ping and fix your stuttering connections. The best part of this application is the tool section over here which provides you the FPS boost panel where you have to enable first, third, fourth, fifth and second last option and that will be the best settings to get your FPS up and running once again exit lag is not free to use and you have to get a subscription plan for the application and you can choose from one month six month and even an annual 12 month subscription and if you get a subscription from the link in the description below you can get it at an additional 10 percent off so make sure to go and check it out step number five is creating a restore point and this is really really important search for create a restore point and then open it up Go to system properties, search for local disk C or any drive it says system, click on configure and make sure the turn on system protection is enabled. Click on OK, click on create and name it CSGO. Then simply click on create and let it do its job. This will basically protect your windows in case of any errors coming up in the next steps. You can always restore everything back and this will prevent data loss. 
Once this is done, you can simply click on close and close the system properties. Let's move to step number 6 that is the CSGO FPS pack. This is the updated FPS pack and yes if you're coming from the last videos, there are some similarities with the pack but I have changed a couple of things with the new updates. So once you've downloaded and extracted the FPS pack, you can simply open it up and you will find it in two simple folders. First one is the optimizations in the important tweaks simply open it up and you will find in four folders first one has cpu optimizations and if you use an amd cpu run the amd cpu optimization if you run the intel cpu you can run the intel cpu optimization in both of those folders you can find one single registry that will optimize your cpu for me i have an amd cpu so you can simply double click and run it then once you're done with that you have to double click and run all three of these files as well this will optimize your cpu priority and that will prioritize the applications running in front then running in the background and second one will increase the power efficiency this will optimize your processor to use the power in your computer and the last one is the optimized cpu for gaming and these are basically simple tweaks that will optimize your cpu to help while you're playing the games once you're done with that go back to the second folder which is the ram optimization folder and i have left once again a lot of presets this time for any kind of ram that you're using on your computer and you have to find the ram that you're using if you don't know about it you can simply search your system information in the settings and you can get the installed physical memory over here and if you already know you can simply double click and run the ram registry this will basically put the best settings applicable for your memory allowing it to be running and working smoothly then go back to the third folder which is the power plan and programs you will find three things over here first one is the cache cleaner and as it says it removes the cache from your computer and these are basically the temporary files generated by your pc simply right click and run this as administrator it cleans your temporary files on your computer which are basically created by your pc and you don't need it anymore simply right click and run this as administrator and that will remove the unnecessary files on your computer second file is the msi mode utility 3.0 you have to run this as administrator as well now once this window pops right in front of you you have to search for your gpu for me here is my gpu from undefined you have to click and select hi click on apply and that should do your job simply close it and let's move to the third file which is the ultimate power plant.txt for that you have to open this thing up copy this whole string close this open cmd and run this as administrator once this pops up you have to simply paste this line press enter i've already done it for myself but you can do it and then go and search for control panel once you open up control panel you're looking for power options you can simply search for power options and once you are here you have to select ultimate performance power plan this will basically boost your pc's performance while you're playing the game and also allow your pc to use more resources such as fan and processing power to be utilized while you're playing the game and this is very very interesting so make sure to use ultimate power plan whenever you are playing the games now go back to the fourth folder which is the launch options you can simply open it copy this whole string then go over to your steam go into library look for the cs go over here then right click go to properties and paste this whole string just right over here this will optimize your game and it will get your game much much smoother and once you're done with that go back to csgo optimization pack open up the launch files and you will find in two files over here you can simply copy it go to steam back again go to manage go to browse local files now in this folder you have to go to the csgo folder then go to cfg and then you have to paste both of these files i've already pasted it but you can replace these files in the destination and it will be up and running now all you need to do is go into CSGO, hop on and you have to apply the best settings possible. Okay, so once you are in game, what you're going to do is go into the settings menu, go into the video section. Now basically what you're looking over here is the aspect ratio. You can play on the widescreen or normal aspect ratio. It is a personal preference. I highly recommend you guys to lower your resolution down for maximum fps but if you are a guy like me who plays on a full screen you have to set it to the base resolution of your monitor 
you can keep your display mode to full screen or windowed it doesn't really matter uh, if you are lowering down your resolution keep it to windowed if you are on a native resolution keep it full screen for maximum performance also make sure to disable the laptop power saving as it can hamper your fps go all the way down into advanced video and make sure to disable or set everything to very low and that is all with the in-game settings i hope this video might have helped you out if it did make sure to do leave a like and smash the subscribe button down below it seriously helps me out a lot also we are really close to 100 000 subscribers and i believe in you guys we'll see you in another video until then stay tuned keep watching bear fox and peace out